somewhere about in the year of 1979, uh, in the month of December, I made my way to Provo to uh, go to school to rescue my brother. And uh, in the process of that time, I met Carrie Barnes. So the essence of my uh, hope and really what I had in mind of whom I was gonna marry was somebody who would be a great mother. And uh, um, as my dear wife knows, we are totally in many, many ways so opposite in the processes of thought and, and how we think thing, certain things should be done. But I knew she'd be a great mom and she has borne my uh, weaknesses and, uh, has, and has been a great mom. Carrie, I love you. And um, you have been such a great source of uh, strength in my life and uh, has helped me and have helped me uh, have these wonderful nine children and build this empire that I have built. So I wrote this little poem some time ago and I can't read it without my glasses so I gotta put my glasses on. How blessed you've been to see your nine children raised with our new additional. We now have 13 grandchildren and yet more. The young girl who became my bride was unsure of what was to be. In faith, you did follow me. Challenges have come our way, never, for, never greater than our strength together. We did win the day. We have seen success as to the measure we have been blessed by our God. His son, even Jesus, Jesus Christ, has been our friend. We have trusted his hand to guide our lives. And look, we really have arrived. I loved you in the morning of time. I love you now and have hope to always be your man that continues to qualify to keep your heart one with mine. The great friend that you have been is only second to your greatest accomplishment, that of being a mom to the, to the Warriors Nine. Thank you for being such. They are the joy of my life next to you. They have been and are a reflection of all that is best of you. I just remember mom always being so supportive and loving of everything that that we did um mom was at i don't think she ever missed a football game uh she was at every track meet um and she she even would film every single football game and and we'd get to come home and watch it afterwards i remember mom just being a friend Being a true friend and somebody that um, I, I just enjoyed spending time with. And, and even though she had a lot of kids, and I was the oldest of all those kids, um, I always knew that, that mom um, really loved me. I was pregnant with Mia, and um, she came out to be with us in California. And I got really, really sick with food poisoning and ended up in the hospital. And Grandma Carrie was really good to me, took good care of me, and um, went with me to the hospital. And afterwards, um, they rehydrated me, and I was feeling really good. We got to go to, uh, we, went, we went out to lunch together. And then we went on a walk, and we walked for a long time and um, talked for a long time and we ended up walking about three miles and because of that at the end of the hike I to get to my house our house 
we had a hike up a hill and um, the the hill got us so winded it exhausted that it just um, got us laughing and we couldn't stop laughing and just had the giggles and it was just a really fun and funny memory for me. I love uh, my mom for lots of reasons but um, and this week especially going through what I've been through having my my, my second uh, little girl and um, um, anyways the the the, uh, the joy and pleasure and also how, how difficult and um, and you know just hard it is and I've only, I've only done this twice and, and I'm I'm not alone and um, mom wasn't alone but mom had to do much of the the, the raising alone um, and she did such a, a wonderful job and I, I know she had uh, times when she was going through so much difficulty but um, she didn't let us know that and um, she was just uh, such a such a wonderful example of what it is to, to love a child and um, and be a parent and she's what I strive to be and um, and she's the reason why um, I'm able to love uh, give the, the care and love to, to my my two girls that I'm able to and I, I just strive to be like her as a parent and uh, love my love my little girls like she loved me. One of my uh, favorite memories, I guess, or something that is very memorable um, about mom is when I must have been like five years old maybe, we were living in that first home, or the home that I was born in, and um, she would always take the time to um, plan little dates for us, and so each one of us would have a night with mom. And um, I always remember, <laughs> Uh, I I um I look forward to those nights with mom so much when I was just five years old, and uh, I always remember the, um, how much I adored adored your mom when I growing up. So once you've birthed a child and taking care of a two-year-old, you really gain appreciation for your mother. I definitely know through those things that I have gained appreciation for her. So thank you, Mom, for uh, raising me and helping me become the woman that I am today. Um, I can't really pick a favorite memory of Mom because there's so many. What I do remember is undivided attention. And I'm the sixth child, but I remember undivided attention. Just me and her a lot of times. Going out and going to lunch or going and getting a frosty at Wendy's or sitting down with me and talking with me about whatever I needed. And I love her for that. One thing I really love about my mom is how much of a teacher she really is. Looking back uh, in my life, I realized how much she really did teach me. Um, she wasn't that type of mom who would just clean your clean your room and clean your bathroom and do the laundry for you every day um, you would come home and if you didn't make your bed your bed was still unmade and I as a kid you're like mom why won't you make your my, my bed why won't you make my bed but that taught me a lot of things um, as a grown-up living uh, being able to function by myself I'm able to make my own bed I'm able to do my own laundry. I can clean my own house. And I'm grateful that she taught me um, the hard way. And I always remember my mom coming in at night um, before I went to bed, and tucking me in. She would always teach me a principle. She would teach me about spiritual, spiritual things. She would teach me about God. She would teach me about the importance of family and she would just talk to me and that really showed me that she cared. Moms like that, um, I'm very lucky to have one. Um, the main thing I admire about mom is her love for Christ and for
for all of our children. And um, when, whenever, whenever I was upset or um, needed someone to talk to me, she was always there. And she would always comfort me and tell me it was okay. And uh, she um, is full of love and compassion for all of us. The attribute I love about mom the most is she's always there. And when I've struggled or when I need something from her, she's always there to talk to. And she's always been a comfort and very loving and very understanding. And um, I just, by that, I've seen her love for me. That, that's what I love about mom the most. Well, today I went to visit my newest grandchild, Bridget, and she's in an intensive care unit. And Michael and I had some quiet time to visit while I held her hand and her little foot. She's under UV lights for her belly ribbon because it's too high. And we talked about putting our whole heart and soul into our family and how much we love them. And what it takes to be a parent, to um, the sacrifice and the time and the love. And it's very rewarding, but it is, it is hard work. And it's something that Michael's, Michael's experiencing again for the second time, a little miracle baby. And I'm grateful that they were able to have that baby. And he just looked at me and said, I don't know how you did it, Mom, because you did nine kids. So. Happy birthday, Anna. Um, just want to wish you a happy birthday, Mom, and thanks for being such a great mom. Okay, happy birthday, Mom. Love you. Hey. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Mom. We love you. Happy birthday. I love you. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom.